Hello friends, now that we are done with code Java, from this lesson onward, we will talk about SQL. You all might be aware of certain situations where a bulk of data need to be stored and processed to make our job kind of easier. For example, a banking system where there are a lot of people who open multiple bank accounts in the banks. Now when all this information has to be stored and processed, we'll see how SQL comes into picture. But before that, let me give you a brief background of the system. Before computers, all the entries of an account were made in registers in the banks. And to keep account of money transactions, people were given passbooks. Now when computers came into picture, all this gigantic data from years ago got transferred into databases. A database is simply an organized collection of data. And a DBMS, that is Database Management System, is a computer software application that interacts with the user, other applications, and the database itself to capture and analyze data. There are multiple well-known DBMS like MySQL, MongoDB, MariaDB, Oracle, etc. And all these different DBMS can interoperate by using standards such as SQL or JDBC to allow a single application to work with more than one DBMS. Now a database further consists of multiple things like tables, schemas, views, etc. We'll understand these one by one. Let's first start with the basic that is table. A table is a simple representation of an entry in the bank register in table format. It's particularly one register in a table. So for an account detail, you would have a unique account number, a person or more associated to the account, type of account, money in the account, etc. All these things that define an account and provide any information related to the account become columns of the table. And each record of the table is an entry of the register. Now, before we proceed further, let's see how to download and install the software. So in Google, you can simply type download MySQL installer. Once you click on the link, you will land on this page. And when you scroll down, you'll see these two links to download MySQL. Once you are done with the download, you'll see MySQL when you click on Windows button. Just run the command line client and give the password that you gave while installation of the software and you should see a screen like this. If you have reached this step, that means you are ready to work with MySQL. We'll see how to retrieve data from the tables in the next video. 